often in a program, you'll have more than one comparison to make, and those comparisons will be related to each other. When that occurs, you need to use what are called the logical operators. And we're going to start off by looking at how the logical operators work generally, and then we'll look at some specific Python examples. The logical operators are AND, OR, and NOT. And what you're seeing in front of you are the truth tables for the logical or Boolean operators. So let's take a look at the AND truth table first. AND is the first of the logical operators. And in the headings, you see relational expression 1, RE1, relational expression 2, RE2, and result. And this table demonstrates what occurs when two relational expressions, RE1 and RE2, are combined using the AND logical operator. So for example, if RE1 is true and RE2 is true, then the complete expression RE1 and RE2 is true. Then you'll see if RE1 is true and RE2 is false, then the whole expression is false. If RE1 is false and RE2 is true, the result is still false. And then finally, if RE1 is false and RE2 is false, then of course the result is false. Now let's move down and look at the OR truth table. Here we see that if RE1 and RE2 are true, then the result is true. If RE1 is true and RE2 is false, the result is still true. If RE1 is false and RE2 is true, the result is true. And only if RE1 is false and RE2 is false is the whole expression false. And then finally, although we're not going to look at it in this lesson, is the NOT truth table. NOT simply negates a Boolean value. So for example, NOT TRUE is false and NOT FALSE is true. There are programming situations where we need NOT, but for this particular lesson, we're only going to look at AND or OR. So now that we've seen how they work theoretically, let's look at a couple of simple examples of AND and OR, and we'll see them again later in the lessons. So we're going to bring up the Python shell. So the first thing we're going to do is create a couple of variables. And I'm going to demonstrate how AND works using these two variables. So we have hours worked equals 39, salary equals 39,000. So we might have a payroll program that will have the relational expressions hours worked greater than 40 and salary less than or equal to 50,000. In other words, this is how we probably pay overtime based on whether or not a worker has worked over 40 hours in that pay period for a week and their salary is less than or equal to 50000 So you see that's false, and it's false because hours worked is not greater than 40. It's actually less than 40. So this first expression, hours worked greater than 40, is false, so that makes the complete expression false. All right, let's look at another example, this time using OR. So here we're going to write a password program, actually just a very small fragment. And we're going to set our password equal to guest, uppercase guest. Then we're going to look and see what the user enters for their password. And here we're going to say if they entered guest as lowercase or they entered it as uppercase, then that will be OK. So the way we do that is by using the logical operator OR, saying the password can be equal to lowercase guest or the password can be equal to all uppercase, which is what it's set to. So if we hit enter, we see that's true. So that's how the logical operators work. I guess I can show you not real quick just to demonstrate how it works. We can say not 100 equals 100, and that will return false because 100 equals 100 is true, so not true is false. And then we could say something like not 100 less than 1. That returns true because, of course, the relational expression is false, and not false is true. So those are the logical operators. And like I said earlier, we will be working with them more as we demonstrate how the if statements work. But we're finished with this lesson for now, and we're ready to move on to actually making real comparisons in Python by examining how the simple if statement works. And that's the topic of the next lesson.